Ghana, 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 your beloved country. I'm out here from four. Chilo. Vote for me. Oh my Ghana, vote for me. Uh, to be honest, that, that question sort of reminds me of where when Okonfo Kwade said, uh, 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 Teacher, me and me and myself, meaning I'm here. What do you mean by myself? Uh, write about myself. I mean, to be honest, the, the thing is, I, and I don't think words, they can ever be good enough words to describe a human being. But, you know, I will attempt to, to answer this by saying that, um, I, I, I'm someone who believes in the divine and the expression of his excellence in human beings. So um, I believe that we are all capable of higher and greater things. And I live to try and convey that message that, you know, hey, you are probably bigger than who you think you are. You can do more than who you think you are. You know, and, and that's what I live for. That's who Afro Jesus is um, in, in the nutshell, yeah. Yeah, that, that spans from what I've just said. You know, I hope that my music inspires individuality because I, I, I think that in our attempt as human beings to construct and build, we've sort of tried by way of ideas, imagination, uh, uh, try to sew uniform for everybody to look a certain way, think a certain way. But I think we don't we don't come out our best that way. So my music and everything I do is to try and direct people within back to themselves to go and discover themselves and know and know who they really are and what they're about. And that's that's what my music inspires. So I don't necessarily coin my music into reggae afrobeat and stuff like that all those are labels and styles that i can express my music in but the key thing the underlining thing when it comes to my music is my message i was listening to um, an interview on joy fm and um, um a 65 year old was was reacting to what was going to happen to his bonds, basically his pensions, uh, funds that he has invested into government bonds. And it hit me, it hit me. You know, I've never really talked about politics uh, um, um, in my music and, and not publicly, you know, but I think we're at a time in Ghana where we've hit rock bottom in terms of corruption, in terms of mismanagement in terms of thievery and i mean that you can think of the worst and 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 it was that it was what, what you hear in the music it was the emotion that was going through my mind and heart and and that this was so i wrote the song actually in two in two hours you know i had i had the man's story i got a beat the following day and because i was still in that in that in that mental space you know penning the music just just came to me that that easily yeah yeah it's available on all platforms um itunes youtube and you know uh i think audio mac is yet to be on audio mac but that that will be be there soon but apart from audio mark boom play everywhere everywhere i am if you visit my page um especially my facebook page um i'll be active more on all the other pages uh, all the other other uh, uh what you call it social media pages but i'm more on facebook now uh, if you go on my page there's a number you can contact and um yes um, if the if what well, the purpose for the concert or whatever has been done is is in sync with what I do, I'm more than happy to perform. Yes. Um, 
Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. And the song, because I believe, reflects the emotions and frustrations that people have been going through. The, the reception has been warm. I mean, equally, there's been lots of criticisms as well. And, and because of how we are programmed as Ghanaians, I understand, you know, we've been thought to be nice, to be polite all the time. But I think being nice is good, but you have to be just, you know, give respect where respect is due. But when people misbehave, let them know so. And that's how I live, you know. And so the ones that I think I was, I was, rude to the president and so on and so forth i think he deserves way beyond those words you understand to the extent that when we are going through this difficulty you go to the extent of taking the monies of people who have worked years basically the vulnerable in our society and and, and try to take money from them to solve you if you can't support them you leave them alone so you know i'm not i'm not that type i'm not that kind i'm not i'm not going to see someone behave stupidly and and speak otherwise you know, stupidity or folly has no regards for age. A young person can be stupid, so does a, a grown-up person, and that does not excuse your rank, your your position, or your age does not excuse us from telling you what you're doing is not right, especially when we voted for you to be in office to serve us. Then we you, you openly disrespect us and show us that openly that you, you are here to serve your belly, you know, unless he's out here for revenge. What the president is doing now is, is it's, 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 it's way off the charts in terms of corruption. We've never experience i mean we've been a corrupt society for a very long time we've had corrupt politicians but to this extent this is a whole new level and and we are not going to be quiet we will speak out i mean the rest if you want to be quiet please be quiet but for us keep that advice keep that your polite politeness to your own politeness you can polite in your bedroom we are not polite in this mess we will say things as they are thank you Stretch it up, why? Nah, nah, nah.